Hi everyone, I decided it was high time that I packed my labour bag and my hospital bag, seeing as it could be any day now, yes. uh, from here on in. So, and I thought who better to ask than my mum who's had to pack a hospital bag 16 times. If she doesn't know it by now off my heart, there's something really wrong. I have a list. <laughs> My organised mum who has lists for everything. That's me. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna pack my my labour bag and then we'll show you all the stuff that we, we popped in there. Thought it's really important to take with. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so we're actually sitting out here on the front of the <laughs> eating biscuits. We're sitting out here eating biscuits. Mama Brooke, needs to be fed. Because Brooke doesn't want to share them with anyone. No, but we're actually sitting on our front veranda, um, kind of having like a bit of a... Bicky picnic a, bag. A, a baby bag. Bag. Picnic. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, the, my brain the, stopped working for a second. <laughs> That's the baby brain. See, that happens. It'll go away, maybe, maybe not. No, they hmm. say it never leaves. <laughs> Didn't leave me. <laughs> but we're having Could a little... Be the quantity of babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the consistency <laughs> of, yeah. Mm. Were you ever really not pregnant or breastfeeding or having baby things? No, no not see. really. <laughs> I think it worked out like I've been pregnant for 12 years, mm. if you add it all up, and about 11, 11 and a half years, I think, of... <laughs> <laughs> of breastfeeding so yeah that's a long time I miss it <laughs> crazy I know crazy but we're having a bit of a yeah a, um, a baby bag picnic out the front here we're going to show you what's in Brooke's labor bag um, we'll have to give all these uh, these lists to my daughter-in-law as well yeah. so she can get her bag packed as well all the kids are inside so it's nice and quiet and cool out here so yes because it's so hot it is it's been really hot Having babies in summertime. Bad idea. <laughs> you don't get to choose. <laughs> no. 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 But that's all good. Anything for her. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let's have a bit of a look um, at our list for the hospital bag. All right. First on the list. Notebook and pen. Notebook and pen. Yes. I Always. Can use a notebook. Why do I need a notebook? Why do you need a notebook? <laughs> I know that most things nowadays are done on phones and tablets and those sorts of things, but you never know. When you go into the hospital, you're going to need a pen to fill out your um, hospital menu. Oh, yeah. And that. Yeah. And you might need to leave a note for a nurse or put a little note in with Bubby to say you want the cord clamp kept or oh, something, you know, yeah, so I you can pop a little note in like that. And handy if you had to send a message home with hubby or a list of things that you yeah, So my mum supplied done. me one, hence why it's pretty. So I it's, have notebooks. It's, it's, it's pretty, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't that a pretty notebook? Yeah, oh, look. Flowers. Pretty paper. Worth mm. having. Mm -hmm. There you go. So the next thing on the list is family photo. Family photo. <laughs> That's because us. I'm, I know. About, look how big that photo frame is. <laughs> Not it's like a big can... family. Come on, give me a break. Uh, no, so no. Uh, I don't have my printed version of this one yet, but it's me and my husband. Um... Come right in. Oh, cute. <sighs> Jeez, where are stunners? <laughs> and a family photo to have in the room because it's it's just kind of nice to have the well, family there supporting, even though loved. they're not yeah. there. So, yeah. and I really enjoy being part of my family. So. <laughs> That's nice to know. Yes. <laughs> Well, it'd be fun, and you know that it's uh, it's pretty daunting to have to go into a hospital. And it's a talking point. Yes, <laughs> yes. People are going to look at this and be like, "Who are all Holy these people?" Heck, who are they? Oh, that's just yeah. my my family. normal family. They go my... what? Yeah, <laughs> like everyone. I does. love watching that face. Though. <laughs> How many? That's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> no, so and it's uh, yeah, it's nice to have a just a family photo there. Yeah. A new family. I know, and soon to be family. <laughs> soon to be. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? Phones. 
phones. Phones are very important. Phones, phones go everywhere. And charges. Yes. And make sure you've cleared your memory on it so that there's tons of space on there. Yeah. Or if you've got cameras, take spare batteries. Yeah, camera. Um, leads, anything that you need. Memory I, cards. I think most people just have phones now. Most most phones, yeah. Most phones instead of cameras. Back just, in the day. Just one, <laughs> one last thing. When we had a camera and you had to have your film that you used to have to take in to get developed. Yes, or little disposable ones. Mmm. I feel old. <laughs> Not that old. <laughs> no, you feel old. I feel old. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, make sure your phone is charged at all times. Take your charger with you. Yeah, and make sure you have your, all your contacts saved properly. Yeah, um, because these are precious photos that you're going to take. Yeah, um, and you, you have know. to ring people to let people know yeah. afterwards. So. And back them up straight away. Yes. Super important to back up your photos. I've been caught a few times. Mm, yes. Yeah, no, so technology. don't lose the baby photos. <laughs> <laughs> And be able to ring your mother straight away yes. and let her know what's going on. She'll know before baby's born because <laughs> she'll be up at the hospital waiting. Yes. Or if I can't yes. get there, she'll be in there holding my hand. So <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do whatever I'm told. <laughs> okay, what's next on the list? I oh, know, I have to go back out. Uh, okay, so so next so thing that mum's put on the list is some day clothes. So I just have three outfits put together. Um, just something really comfortable. Yeah. Nothing too flash. No. I would like to wear heels, but apparently it's not very. Uh, <laughs> Did you know? And I'm, I'm going to tell this story. When I had the first few babies, because I used to wear high heels all the time. I used to have like slippers that were fluffy, you know, like the oh, movie yeah. star ones. Yes. Yeah. And they had little heels on them. And the nurses used to walk in and go, Oh my gosh, she's got high heel slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Those days are gone. No, <laughs> just but just you. saying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just make sure. I don't sure do that anymore. <laughs> nothing, nothing too tight, too, because um, you're going to be probably a bit sore afterwards. Yeah. And, uh, and you don't know. You might end up with a uh, natural delivery. You might have a C-section. Yeah. You're going to need very comfortable clothing, so yeah. very loose. Not, no. not too many pants either. No. Like, or if they are loose or like yeah. much high-waisted ones, so that they're not yeah. going to sit around that around uh, your tummy, yeah. that tummy area. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. It's all about comfort. You can be stylish, but still comfortable. Yes. Awesome. All right. What's next? Uh, so just to go with the clothes, we've got shoes, slippers, socks. Socks. Good to have a pair of socks there. Um, some people get really cold feet in, yeah. in delivery rooms. I don't know. Um, some of them I've worn socks. Sometimes it's good just to not slip over. Yeah. Um, just to have a bit of grip underneath there. Because yeah. you're going to get in and out of showers maybe and... On and off the bed, so yeah. you don't want to slide over. And if you get out of the wet shower, sort of like you might yeah. get cold feet. So yeah, so look after so. yourself. Yep. Uh, pajamas and a gown, like a light gown or like a winter gown, depending on the season. No, because you're inside, so it'll be air conditioned. But you know, sometimes it's nice if you had to walk from your room down to the nursery. Um, depending on what you're wearing, you might put a little light light gown over the top of it mm. you know if you own one yeah i don't own one there you go no it's so don't if you don't if you don't own a gown you know there's no reason to run out and, and buy one and it was always on my list and i always had a gown yeah so but no need to run out and buy one no no as long as you're wearing respectable clothes i suppose yeah <laughs> yeah, don't walk around in anything that people can see through or anything like that. So. Um, <laughs> next one's really important is to have underwear, plenty of it, and nursing bras. Yes. Mm. Yes, and again, we're talking comfort here, folks. Yes. We're not talking Lazy fashion thongs. and lace. <laughs> no! No! No, can I put that we'll in pull here? Pull out the granny I panties. <laughs> I don't know. If I can I put that in there? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Just underwear well it is mm -hmm. yes you need you need underwear you need comfortable underwear um, you can buy disposable underwear yeah. that you can just throw away after after the first few days yeah I mean part of having a baby is you're going to have loss afterwards and you know it's messy it is it can be a messy affair so you know Lovely. to make I'll your never life tell as... you these things you have to go find <laughs> yeah. out you have to make life as easy as you can for yourself too plus you know if you can if you can get a hold of the disposable undies you can get rid of those and poor old hubby doesn't have to run home and wash everything for you but yes. but you know in saying that 
the men will step up and do what they need to do. So they contributed half. <laughs> I didn't get to do it on my own. This, this is right. So. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's, it's really important to have comfortable underwear, but I would look into the disposable, disposable ones. ones, yeah, just mm. for those first couple of days. Nursing bras, obviously, you know, um, you're going to try and breastfeed and, And that's know. not for everyone, not everyone oh, breastfeeds. No. Yeah. Um, but I think just for comfort too, like they are quite, quite comfortable. Well, there's good support yeah. in them. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people can successfully breastfeed and some can't, and there's no judgment. No. Um, so long as Bubby's getting fed, yeah, it doesn't matter what you're doing. I mean, you know, they'll get lots of goodness from from the breast, but you know, if you have to give them a bottle, I mean, it's not rubbish in those tins. I mean, they no. they do the research and they put the good stuff in there. So yeah. Bubby's Bubby's going to do fine on it either way. So you know, and yeah. it'll, it, it's, so you try. I suppose it's all give depends it a good too go. on baby because some babies can't. Can't latch oh, on there are, and... yeah, there are problems, and it's not yeah. it's not just this natural thing that um, everyone thinks. Oh, you'll just know what to do. No. There's there's a bit of skill involved with um, with breastfeeding, and you can you can get there if you know, but it can take a bit of effort. It's sometimes. all learning, learning yeah. experience, yeah. and <laughs> so. and it's not the most pleasant thing either. You know, you, you see it in the movies, and and everyone's like, oh, all glossy and. It's all sunshine and flowers and someone's sitting there in a rocking chair feeding a baby and it's not like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Reality is is that, you know, um, it can be painful. It can be very painful and there can be bleeding and blistering Blisters. and, you know, engorgement and all sorts of nasty things. So Again, I mean plain, plain comfy, no yep. no lacy push ups and and all the rest because no, you're, you're not out there to attract to anyone it. you're just going out there to feed a baby that's it people that's it, so. <laughs> use them for what they're intended for <laughs> yeah all right so next yeah. up we've got all of the baby gear um i was showing the mum the other day and she has noticed over the years that when she was first having babies like a lot of stuff was supplied and now these days you've got to take a lot of it so you know you want yeah. to really remember to Oh, we used to, you know, with the first babies, we would go into the hospital. You never had to take nappies with you or baby clothes or bunny rugs or anything like that. You know, even if you were bottle feeding a baby, everything was supplied yeah. for you. So Doesn't nowadays, it's pretty much you take <laughs> everything with you. Um, so really important so you be for babies prepared. is yep. definitely number one is nappies. Because they're yep. going to go through a lot. <laughs> yeah. And they're so tiny. Oh, the they little, are. The little newborn <laughs> nappies are just adorable. And even then, they're kind of big on them. I know. I know. So, depending on how big your baby I'll, is. I'll change them. Yeah. I'll change them. Dad will change them. He no, loves... see, I, I want hubby to do the first <laughs> nappy change. Get and that one on film. On, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> see how he goes. Um, so, to go with nappies, you need... Um... Baby clothes? No. Oh, baby wipes. Yes. There, baby blank. Yep. <laughs> um, baby wipes. Baby wipes, nappy rash soft, cream. Soft, sensitive baby wipes. Um, um, really, you shouldn't have any problems with nappy rash at this point in time. Yeah, so, yeah or even like later moisture, on. you know, because if your baby wipes aren't the best too, you don't want When babies are born, um, they are covered in a substance called vernix and it's, um, it's like a waxy, it's white. And, it's, and if you rub that back into their skin, it'll keep them all lovely and soft and... Scrum. Oh, there you go. So cute. They smell so good. Yes. So cool. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so then to go over like um, underclothes for baby, you need like singlets and singlets, a couple of little onesies, jumpsuits, yeah, onesies, uh, socks. You can yeah. get non-scratch mittens um, if your baby's got really long little fingernails. little bonnets, little beanies, yeah, for their hats. heads. Keep them warm and some bunny rugs. Yes. They like to, to be wait. swaddled. There's a plane going over here. There it comes. Oop. There it goes. So yeah, just okay, uh, basic, basic onesies and uh, and then I do have one good outfit which will be her going home outfit. Because um, I just wanted to look cute all the time. <laughs> I love that I'm having a girl. <laughs> oh god. Your little boys are cute too. What if my other grandbaby's yeah. a boy? Oh that'd be so cute. That would be awesome. But two girls would be good too. Mm. I don't care. No. Babies. All babies. <laughs> babies are cute. 
Oh. Um, so next on Mum's list was toiletries that uh, you need to take with you. Yes. Uh, so hygiene wise you've got shampoo, conditioner, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, very important. Um, for both you and hubby. Yes. yes. Take a toothbrush and toothpaste or breath mints or spray or something. something. The, the, anyone in that delivery room is going to be right up in your face at some point in time. <laughs> Bad so, breath is killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> let's not go there. So, you know, we all want to be minty fresh. Mm. <laughs> yes. You know, um, there's going to be a lot going on in there. The last thing you need is somebody breathing into your face and telling you to push, push. But smelling terrible. Oh. Which then reminds me Put deodorant in. Lots of deodorant. Deodorant is good too. Um, Nothing too over the top. You don't want any like heady perfumes and those sorts of things, but you no. do need a really good deodorant. Yep. Yep. The other thing for aftercare is like sanitary pads. If you don't buy the disposable undies, again, you're going to yep. have lost, so you need sanitary pads. And then obviously, if you want to feel human after, afterwards, uh, in the next few days, you'd have makeups, moisturizers, or, or your normal hair cream, normal day care yeah. that you would use on an everyday basis. Did you say hairbrush? No, no hairbrush. Hairbrush, hair, tie. hair ties, or a clip to pull your hair up. Cause but a flat clip, because obviously you'll be lying in a, in a bed, yep. so you don't want anything yep. pushing in the back of your head. Yep. Again, where it's all about comfort. It's all about keeping mama happy as comfortable and as possible. comfortable <laughs> because there's a lot going on. So. <laughs> There goes a bird. Um, <laughs> Mum's <laughs> office is out in this front yard. There's planes, there's traffic, there's birds, there's bugs, there's noise. We thought we'd sit out here because it was quiet. Mum's oh. <laughs> um, also got on here tissues. Yes. Because? Because it's a really joyful moment and you may cry. Oh. Again, I was thinking runny you... noses, like if you were sick. Hey, but... I mean, well, do you know what? If... if um, if you're in inside and it, there's lots of air conditioning, that could happen. You could get very blocked up and you may need to do that. And Sometimes tissues. just the emotion will overtake you, just trying to get through labour. Yeah. You tissues. might get teary, um, particularly when you're getting close to the end. You might get a bit emotional and fed up with it all and want to leave. <laughs> but but you um, no, you, no, you're stuck there, lady. <laughs> um, and then afterwards, it is just such a magical moment when Bubby arrives that there's there's bound to be some tears happy tears of joy and yeah yeah so you know and and Maybe and, and, and you got to you got to accommodate for the family coming too because there's going to be yeah. lots of happy tears from them too no, so no, no. yeah <laughs> awesome uh, so i think that's all of the toiletries that you had written down i think so mm, sounds good um so mum's got written down labor bag car <laughs> car car another um, car no, I think we're good. Uh, so mum's got another car. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, so mum, another car. I just want to <laughs> ask the question. What is the question? Ask me. <laughs> another car. <laughs> All right. Um, Go. So mum's got written down labour bag. So what's the difference between just your normal hospital bag and a labour bag? Um, I think it's a great idea to have just a little bag that, if you can hear me over the car going past again, um, to have a separate bag to take into delivery with you. Yep. So you don't have to be digging through all your stuff to find out the things you need. So keep the things that you will need in delivery ward yep. with you and the other things, all your Sorry, 90s. And yawn. <laughs> car. Car. Another car. Must be the end of the day. Yeah. We might be going home. About that time. <laughs> um, okay, so it's yeah, it's 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 a good idea to have something so you don't have to dig through all your other items. Um, just have the things that you're going to need during labour, labor. yeah, yep. and delivery. All right. So on Mum's labour bag list, she's got nighties, which I actually had to go out and buy because I don't own. You don't own nighties? No. <laughs> just just pajamas. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I hope <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, have, I have like shorts and singlets or long pants, 
you know, that kind of thing. I've, I don't ever really wear a, a nighty. Yeah, I so would think not shorts and t-shirts going to work. No. In a delivery room, so. You know, um, so, yeah, uh, I went out and just bought a really cheap one because I don't know the quality after afterwards. Yeah. So, I don't know. There you go. Wait for the car. Mm. Uh, so after a nighty, we've got more undies and bras, undies and bras, undies and bras. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> you need them everywhere. Well, you need, you know, if you're going to buy the disposable ones, you'd put, say, two pairs or something like that in, in your labour bag. Labor bag yep. Uh, with one bra. Yep. And then have the rest, rest in your hospital in bag. Hospital yep. bag. Yep. Um, deodorant in the hospital. In, yep. in the labour bag. Yep. When my brain starts to tick over baby and brain. start to work. <laughs> <laughs> See that? See exhibit A, baby brain. Yes. My brain See, cells exhibit are dying. B. <laughs> Long term baby brain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we've got deodorant in the labour bag, um, the phone and cameras. Definitely. Um, because yep. they're obviously gonna go in to capture those first beautiful moments. Um, all your doctor's notes, it's really important to have them mm. on you at all times. Yes, don't do what we did once and um, got halfway to the hospital and had to turn around <laughs> and drive home for all the notes. This was back in the early days and um, when I wasn't that prepared. And yes. when you're in labour, you do not want to turn a car around and go home and come back again. No. You just want to get there. So make sure you have your doctor's yeah. notes with you <laughs> all of the time. It's really important. Yeah. Hairbrush and hair tie will be in your labour bag because you'll need them in the delivery room. Yes. Because again, you you could be in and out of a bath or a shower. Mm. Um, you could get very hot and overheated from the pain, and that and you might want to pull, pull your, your hair, hair up and out of the way. Yeah. Next, we've got snacks for hubby. Very important. Because it can be long, long time. A well-fed hubby is a happy hubby. <laughs> <laughs> but you, could, you could spend quite a few hours in there, so snacks oh, and water. Yeah. Um, I don't think you can they will. They, at, at the hospital, they will will have food for you yeah and for hubby but he might need a, a few treats yeah keep him happy and another good one <laughs> Stop. i can't help it she'll start i'll start mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all in trouble here I see yeah it. no i think you know we, we've i've always had a few few snacks yeah so. and i mean you know you can go anywhere from two to 48 hours so you don't want to be sitting there and unfed oh, I did. and <laughs> I did and a 42 unhydrated. hour labor <laughs> yeah it so wasn't pleasant <laughs> every, every baby's going to be really different so yeah. you don't know so it's better just to be prepared you now if you're in and out really quick then you've got snacks for the next couple of days and if you're in there for a couple of days in labor well you're well fed and you never know at 3 a.m. when you're up feeding the baby when you <laughs> might need something yourself too <laughs> oh, yum. be prepared that's it. Um, <laughs> a, a massager for back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, hubby might get a bit tired having to rub your your back during contractions and that sort of thing. So sometimes having a little back like massager a or, or a little ball, yeah, that you can he can use. It makes it a bit easier yeah. for him. You're getting the same outcome. Uh, yeah. Um, but it makes makes it a bit easier yeah. for him. Awesome. Yeah. And then we've got an outfit for baby and a baby blanket um, for after they're born and then they clean them up and then they wrap them up. But normally... It's like a little they, catcher outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, singlet, little outfit. Oh. Yeah, very easy to put on too. You need something that's really super easy to put yeah. on for baby. Not too many buttons. Um, and yeah, some, sometimes straight after they're born they'll just wrap them. They'll swaddle them up yeah. in the baby blankets and they... We'll just have a nappy on and maybe yep. a singlet um, and a little hat. Yeah. Keep their little heads warm because they're it. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Say you've been in labour for hours or, you know, things are getting a bit tricky and they decided to, to give you an epidural and it slows your labour down even more so and you're going to be sitting there for a long time. Yeah. You might want something to keep you occupied. They do have TVs now in all the delivery rooms and stuff they didn't have that back in the day um <clears throat> and of course you know things to keep you occupied now most people have their phones, phones and things as well but hubby and i used to always have a game of cards while we were in yeah. there he figured it was the only time he could actually beat me in <laughs> yeah, a game of cards. Not 
Yeah. If I'm contracting, I can't concentrate and I can't win. So there you go. So, um, yeah. So if you have a favourite game or, 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 you know, if you like to read or something like that, take yourself yeah, a book, books. something, you just never know what's going to go on in there. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty much everything that mum had on her list, but then I went and did a bit of research and <laughs> I decided to add um, a dirty laundry bag because mm. we don't have plastic bags anymore. That yeah, see, so the, the they used to have a pile of single use plastic bags in the room and you could send home anything in one of those. But yeah, so they don't. They are no more, so. So yeah, I added an extra set of clothes for hubby. Um, again, long labour and, you know, you don't want him to. I live out of town, so. Um, I don't want him to have to drive an hour round trip just to get changed or have True. a shower or something like that. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. I've also added some like washers in case like we're in the room and you know, um, I need like my face washed or I'm not feeling so well. And then I added a little plushy toy for baby girl afterwards because she needs toys <laughs> and, and cute stuff. I'm not sure she will <laughs> notice it, it, but the photo will be fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Instagram worthy. Look, I just... Because I'm loud. Look. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it is cute, but you know what? Maybe Mama might need just to hang on to that during some tough moments. <laughs> and I, I picked an owl. I'm half tempted to switch it to a teddy bear because everybody needs their first teddy bear. I still have mine and Jamie still has his. So it could be a cool tradition to start, you know, to have if you've got something like that runs in your family. And then, yeah, I think that was about all that I added on top of mum's. Yeah. Um, let us know if there's anything that, that you, you think is essential, essential in the bag. Yeah. Did yeah. we say? Oh yeah, we did say mints. Oh, it's like, yeah. Way back. Yeah, but still really important. Let's just let's just make that point one more time. You need mint toothbrush, <laughs> toothpaste, breath mints. Very important. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's probably really important to pack the bag earlier rather than later. You don't want to be in labour or having contractions and trying to find and all trying stuff. to pack a bag. So because you need to concentrate it. on what you're doing, you don't need to worry yeah, about the other so, stuff. Yeah, um, so you know, and it's the, there can be complications or. Any, anything know. from, you know, maybe 35 weeks onwards, it's probably really, really good to have a bag yeah. packed. And I think, you know, too, you've got to um, stay focused on, on what what's ahead of you. Yeah. And get yourself as organised as you can so that yeah. you can really just concentrate on yourself and baby. It's a big job ahead. It's exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> yeah. And get your um, your car seat. In the car. In the car. Yes. Nice and early on, so. Yes, we're doing that this week. Because, mm. um, yeah, you don't want to have to be fiddling with the car seat. No, you need something to bring Afterwards. baby home in. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty Otherwise, much it. Otherwise, you just want to get in there, have a safe delivery, mm. and a lovely squishy baby. At the end. At the end. Pain with a purpose. <laughs> Is that the grandmother <laughs> and nurse? <laughs> <laughs> and cuddle? And we'd better send this list to my sister-in-law. Yes. Because she's due just about the same time I am, which Yay. is so exciting. You're getting <laughs> two within weeks. I know. <laughs> that is so blessed. So blessed. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay with us. It's been an interesting us. talk. Yeah. <laughs> it has. And I hope it's been it educational. <laughs> so stay tuned, and very soon we'll have baby, baby vlogs to up. Babies. Babies. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. God bless. <laughs>